Hi, I'm Dr. George Parada, Medical Advisor for the National Pest Management Association. Today I'm going to talk about bed bugs and what you should know about the bites that this pest leaves behind. I often hear patients who think they have been bitten by a bed bug and want to know if they should be concerned. Although bed bugs were once rare in the United States, they have made a comeback and are now widespread throughout the United States and the world. So it is important to know how these pests can affect our health. Bed bugs feed on the blood of humans and other warm-blooded hosts. They tend to be most active at night because they are attracted to the steady stream of carbon dioxide we emit while we sleep. Bed bug bites are painless because the bugs inject an anticoagulant or blood thinner along with an anesthetic to create a numbing effect as they feed. Feeding usually takes five to 10 minutes. If you are bitten by a bed bug, the most common thread is from the bite itself, which can turn into a large, raised, itchy welt. And if the welts are scratched, they can become infected. People are more likely to have an exaggerated skin reaction if they are repeatedly bitten because the skin becomes sensitized to the bites. Everyone reacts differently to bed bug bites. In fact, as many as 30% of people do not have any reaction at all and may not even realize that they were bitten. For those people who do have a reaction, the bites can range from a tiny puncture wound to large, red, raised welts. The bites usually are noticed upon awakening, though in some cases, the reaction may take up to two weeks to develop. Bed bugs are often lined up in a row on the skin and are typically on exposed areas such as the face, neck, hands, legs, or arms. These bites can take as long as three to six weeks to fully heal. If an infestation is present, New bites may accumulate, even as the older ones disappear. So there may be bite reactions in various stages of evolution at the same time. Progressive swelling, warmth, tenderness, and in rare cases, fever may be symptoms of secondary infection. Bed bug bites do not typically require treatment. Itching is by far the most common complaint by those who experience bed bug bites. If itching becomes severe, people will find relief with topical steroid creams or oral antihistamines. Clean the bite sites with soap and water and avoid scratching to prevent infection. If a secondary infection occurs, consult your physician so it can be managed with antibiotics as appropriate. Bed bug bites can look very similar to other insect bites. So it's important to see your doctor to confirm if the bites are from bed bugs or something else. You can work with a qualified pest professional to confirm if an infestation is present in your home. Thanks for watching this episode of Health Checks. That's all the time we have for today. For more information on bed bugs, visit pestworld.org.